Hey everyone, back again with another tech video and this time we're going to be talking about ChatGBT. Let's take a second and just break down ChatGBT with five common asked questions that we've been getting from our members. Alright, so first question, what is ChatGBT? Well, ChatGBT in very simple terms is a chatbot. What ChatGPT does particularly that makes it quite a phenomenon in itself is it's the program and the sophistication around the task that it's able to do. So ChatGPT is a very advanced fruit AI chatbot. All right, so another question that we have is, where does the name ChatGPT come from? The reason why they've called it ChatGPT is very simple. One, the fact that the chatbot comes from its function, which is a chatbot. The second part of its name comes from the language model it is built from, which stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. All right, so the next question comes from some of the techie members from my network, and they want to know, as future programmers, they really want to interact with ChatGPT from coding with it and using its APIs. Where can I start from? What are the main languages that ChatGPT uses? Well, the two languages that you want to really focus on in this space is Python and JavaScript. Another question we've got is, who created ChatGPT? Well, the simple answer, it's a software AI research lab in the US called OpenAI. Hence why the next question, where can I actually use ChatGPT? So if you want to go to the URL www.https colon forward slash forward slash chat.openai.com, AI all being one word, slash auth, A-U-T-H, slash login, which is L-O-G-I-N, it should give you the direct link to access ChatGPT. You will need to register an account if you don't have one, and then you can play around with ChatGPT. All right, so there's been a lot of hype around ChatGPT and the power that it possesses. We've heard things like, can it do my homework? Can it write my dissertation? Can it take my job? Will it take over the world? In theory, all of these things can be true, but that's not something to be hyped around right now. I mean, there's still a lot of time uh, between now and when robots can take over the world really so I, I wouldn't really worry about it just yet. Peace.